obviously, we have a lot going on as well because they're they're balancing uh, Super Tuesday with, uh, rightfully so, with coronavirus. Yes. Uh, you did a coronavirus piece. Yes. You turned it around very quickly. I, uh, yeah. personally, there was more information in that than I've been getting a lot of other places. Okay. Uh, when did you make the decision to do a, a coronavirus deep dive because you didn't have a lot of plans? So, yeah, the, I guess the answer to that is, like, it was it was atypical for us because we, we decided relatively early in our week. And we did have something else planned. But there, there occasionally, there are weeks when... If we have something very timeless and maybe dry that yeah. we've been working on, like something like we've done, like mobile home financing in the past, yeah. there are certain weeks, like, I don't know, this week, where it's a little harder to say. I know that, you know, coronavirus is um, spreading across the world in borderline pandemic fashion, but uh, I really need to talk about mobile home financing. <laughs> it's a really hard sell to be you, really, you need to? You need to, or you want to, in a needlessly contrarian manner. So, yeah, we, we, so we decided and, uh, at the start of our working week, and so we crashed it pretty quickly. From um, and how do you feel right now? Do you think that we are suitably panicked? Do you think we're over-panicked? As people? Yeah. It's on a person-to-person -person basis. Yeah, okay. right? It depends, <laughs> like, on, on, from a scale of 1 to 10, it depends what your regular level of panic is on a good day. Yeah. Me, I'm at a regular 6 or 7. Yeah. So... <laughs> So this, you probably have to go look, up a notch from yeah. wherever you were. Gotcha. But not too much. That's the thing. You've you got to try and balance. Basically, just don't be an idiot either way. Yeah. Yeah. My, uh, my wife is a, a very germ-averse to begin with. In general, right? Yeah, Before in this general. Happened. Right, whereas I'm not. Yeah. So I think most of her stress... I love germs. I, lo I can't get enough of them. <laughs> just uh, looking for a super immunity. Yeah. Lick, licking poles <laughs> in the subway. That's the way I'll I feel. I'll never die. I... I I feel pretty strong about that. I feel like my... But that's the thing. She's always calling, and she's like, where are you? And I'm like, I'm at dinner. She's like, no, you're not. I can see you outside. You're in the gutters. That's yeah. Right. Are, you, are you in Times Square again, <laughs> inhaling around Elmo? Uh, so, yeah, I think her bigger concern is, right. like, what I'm going to bring home, as yes, opposed to, like, her. Yeah. I think like, everyone's going to have to wrestle with their, with their darkest, stupidest instincts. Yeah. When, when, the, when my phone went off with that news alert yesterday of oh, uh, someone... That, now, there's a case in Manhattan. A woman has got coronavirus and she's self-isolating. There was that initial split second of, where is she? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've never kind of reached for a flaming torch that wasn't there, but... <laughs> and then, then I shut that down. I shut that down like a human being. But there was that split second of, burn her. <laughs> I, uh, I also feel this... I've always felt this way. I hope, she, I hope you're fine. Yeah, 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 of course. I, 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 I hope you're fine. Those those I realise... Yeah. I realise, in self-quarantine, yeah. and we shouldn't burn her. Yeah. We actually do... Uh, our, our, uh, our ratings are almost best. They're the demographic we do the best with are people who are self-isolating. That's right, yeah. that's right. self <laughs> self isolating the emotional shut-ins. That's why I like this show. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I also, you know that thing where and whenever uh, someone uh, um, gives you a stock tip, if yes. I, by the time it gets to me, it's too late. When does anyone give well, you a like... stock tip? <laughs> when does so, no, I, I know I you're go, a busy guy, I but... always have lunch at steakhouses. <laughs> um, I, I, yeah, uh, exclusively. I take a full three-hour steakhouse lunch. <laughs> no, but, like, when, even when you see it, like, I can't believe when people watch, like, CNBC or, you know, yes, the, like, right. if you're watching the news and a guy's saying, buy this stock, it's too late. Yes, right? that's right. I feel the same way about when people say, stock up on rice. Yes. Like, by the time I hear yes. it, the rice right. is gone. That's right. <laughs> no question. Yeah. No question. If, if ever advice is going out there, you, you know you are walking into the Dwayne Reed that has empty shelves. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, yeah, if but... I went now, I'd come back with, like, a one orange Gatorade. Yeah. I'd be like, it's all they had left, yeah, honey. Yeah, that's right. I don't think, yeah, for, for the stock market or for, you know, basic human hygiene, I've never moved fast enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no one has ever given me a stock I, tip. You know, I, I really now, um, I shouldn't have told you, because they make, <laughs> when they give me the tips, they're like, obviously, don't tell people. <laughs> Don't tell the other talk show hosts that we're giving you these sweet, just, this sweet, sweet tips. I just don't know how I'd react if, well, if a mean. stranger came up and said, do you want a stock tip? <laughs> no! <laughs> Leave... No! <laughs> and if a, if a friend told me, would you like a stock tip? I'd say, we're finished. Yeah. <laughs> stock tip. I give, I give people John, John tips where yes. I go, don't tell him about stocks. Don't, <laughs> he doesn't want to hear about it. Uh, yeah. You, uh, obviously, uh, before your show, you were on The Daily Show. Yes. You were, uh, you came, uh, you famously came from England. Um, <laughs> you had what, a show. Was, it, was this the big giveaway? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm an American citizen now. Uh, but you know, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Um, right. yeah. Just, uh, you were on a show, uh, you were on a show called Mock the Week. I was, yes. And, uh, and this... People know what? it. Really? 
<laughs> there you go. Uh, it doesn't seem like you get a lot of positive feedback on Mock the Week. No. I don't remember any at the time. <laughs> Where the f were you a decade and a half ago? Yo, I was... I was... I was driven to this country by complete <laughs> national indifference. But here's a photo. Uh, you had a different look and a different style. Oh we, found, we found a screen grab from Mock mm -hmm. the Week. There you yes. are. That is a different John Oliver. Now, sure, you can, you can turn that sound into applause eventually all you like, but we all heard the collective, oh! <laughs> We all heard the instinctive response there. Yeah. That is a lot of look. Isn't yeah. it? It's, it feels inconsistent. Uh, it is really, uh, that, it was a, that was a style of shirt that was on racks for a very short period of time. It's, it's almost like one of those Olympic sprint cycling helmets. There's so much depth <laughs> to it. And, and yes, that, I don't know what material that is. It looks like a, a kind of leather curtain. Yeah. <laughs> Did you enjoy doing that show? Um, can you, <laughs> what does my face suggest? <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not my happiest. Yeah. <laughs> not my happiest time. Well, you've turned it around uh, in both show and fashion. <laughs> uh, oh, what a lovely way to tie a bow <laughs> on this conversation. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, there you go. No one wraps it up like this guy, John Oliver, everybody.